Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. I'm just kind of marveling this view here. Look how beautiful this is. This game is still beautiful all these uh, all these years later, I can't even lie. But we're here in my apartment, Eclipse Towers number 31, and I have just ordered the brand new the class Yosemite 1500. So this is basically a big 4x4 pickup truck that I believe is based on a Dodge Ram. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a Chevy Silverado, but I'm pretty sure that the class is a. Uh... Wait, is the class based on Chevy? Yeah, I think it must be because uh, bravado in the game is Dodge. I think so. This must be maybe a Chevy Silverado. Let me know what you guys think it is. Anyway, or oh, no, it is. But this can be picked up off of Southern San Andreas Super Autos for 1,205,000, 1.2 mil. So, uh, yeah. Meet the 2000's undisputed best in show, a champion thoroughbred returned to market. The Yosemite 1500 is the 20 year old workhorse you can just keep on flogging. Whether it's a stack of bodies or a few barrels of acetone, this is the kind of no questions asked transport that made Sandy Shores the thriving centre of the Lazier's Fair entrepreneur entrepreneurship it is today. Hell yeah. Your new white Yosemite 1500 is now confirmed as have been delivered to your garage at Eclipse Towers number 31. So we are going to go and get this and we're going to head to my auto shop and customise it. I am in an invite only session because I really can't be bothered with the modders today and I don't want to even risk getting modded again. Um, this is like my, the second time I've had to do the character but we got the new outfit that I got in the last episode, and uh, this isn't actually as big as I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to take this thing out, and we're going to customise it in my auto shop. And then, yeah, we are pretty much good to go. So if you guys didn't see my last video, I customised the brand new Canis Castigator, which is the, the newest vehicle from the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC. I'm happy that we're getting more of these like pickups and SUVs and stuff. I know a lot of people don't have much interest in the SUVs. I mean, the Castigator kind of was. It did have some pretty terrible customization options, to be honest. So I'm hoping this one's kind of better. But uh, I guess we're going to see anyway. So I hope you guys are all still having a good day and enjoying all of these videos. i got plenty more content to come with not just car customization either. i got other stuff to come as well. So like we're going to be doing a few missions with Josh, my friend. And we've got more business stuff coming as well. I do want to actually buy, make sure I get all of the businesses and stuff. I think I'm probably going to buy a CEO office next and a vehicle warehouse maybe. But um. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're probably going to do that in, in that order. I think I'll start with the vehicle warehouse first, and then we'll get all the other businesses and the nightclub set up and all of that stuff. But uh, yeah, we're here in the auto shop, because again, I'm only rank 3, so the auto shop's going to unlock me everything. And uh, I'm also going to be doing a video on customising and delivering both of these vehicles for the auto shop as well. I think that could be a fun little video to do. So, yeah. Might get Josh to help me out with that. And we get vehicle modifications at a discounted price. So we're going to get armor upgrade 100, race brakes, front bumpers. Here we go. So, primary bumper, that looks nice. Secondary bumper, heavy duty, mm, that's pretty cool. Heavy duty bumper with tow hook, utility bumper, utility bumper with tow hook. The class bumper, okay, so that one actually has a light in which is which is quite cool, but I'm going to go for the utility bumper because I just like that, and then I think I'm going to get the utility bumper to match with the red lights in it, the utility bumper number two, but let's have a look at all the other options, so they're all fairly similar, and I, I kind of like the utility bumper, so EMS upgrade level four, right, exhaust, let's see, so where's the standard exit, oh, it's a side exit, so we got the chrome exhaust, Looks pretty cool. We got the titanium exhaust, angled chrome, dual titanium, dual angled, side exits. Hey, those side exits are kind of cool. Oh, sta oh, yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This one looks a little bit obnoxious, though. I don't like the way that the exhausts actually angle outside of the car. Um, so, uh, you know what? We're going to go for the side exits. Although the stacks are kind of cool. But no, we're going to go for the side exit. We're going to keep this clean looking. I try and make my builds look as clean as I can. But uh, yeah, chrome grill, slack grill, chrome slack. That looks clean. I like that one. Utility grill, chrome heavy duty. Whoa, that looks actually really trippy. I actually kind of like this one. We're going to go for the chrome slack grill. 
Heck yeah. Hood, dual intake. Secondary dual intake, carbon dual intake. Okay, so these are all just, basically, each three is one hood, just with different options. So, normal, secondary, or carbon. So, we've got the dual intake, dual vented. That looks cool. Scooped hood. Performance hood. Cowled hood. Oh my god, what is this? This is ridiculous. I, I, I feel it's absolutely blasphemous to put an intake on a car like this. I'm sorry guys, but I really do. So I think I'm just going to go for the dual vented hood. Horn. We've got to get a truck horn on this, 100%. Headlights, we'll keep them normal because it is a classic car. I don't really think that Xenon lights, or Xenon however you say it, suit classics like this. Um, so yeah. Um, chrome mirrors, sure. That looks kind of retro. I like that. Uh, we'll get blue on white. I need to get a custom plate as well. we got to do that. So, uh, let's see. Actually kind of looks good in white, you know. You know what, Loki? I think I'm going to keep this thing looking kind of nice. What about cream? I'll go full cream. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go cream. This kind of, I feel like this kind of suits it. And maybe like a... A dark brown interior or something. Yeah, Sienna Brown. Heck yeah. Oh, that is looking nice. That is looking nice and classic right there. Let me know what you guys think. By the way, guys, don't forget to leave me a comment. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. But mainly comment because I like talking to you guys. Obviously, subscribe as well if you're enjoying all this stuff. But uh, yeah, going to leave a sunstrip off this. Uh, now, I could get a step. But that kind of uh, hides the exhaust. And I kind of like that. But at the same time... It does kind of make sense to have a step on this, but I think I'm going to leave it. Spoiler. Let's see. Oh, my God. If Why? Why would you put a spoiler on this? Okay. The low-level ducktail. I like that. We're going to get that. I'm not going to lower it. Once again, just because, like what I said about the Castigator, it is an SUV, and I kind of don't see the point in lowering an SUV. Like, the whole point of it is it's meant to be lifted. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to go off-road with this one, although it would, like, suit it, but... Maybe we go with an SUV rim. I mean, most of these SUV rims look absolutely horrible. I, I gotta say. I mean, they are pretty, pretty grim. I don't like how the rims are so, like, thin. The tyres are so thin. Why are the rims so wide, man? I don't like that. They look like donk rims. Right, let's have a look in a... Uh, maybe... What about Tuna? That's probably going to be way too extra for this type of truck, but... We could see. Um... Actually, chicane, and if I put those in, but yo, that actually looks kind of nice. I'm gonna go with that. Um, sure, bulletproof tires, why not? And do I actually want a tint on this or not? You know what? We're actually gonna leave it on this because this looks more like a utility truck. Oh, and I forgot to get my uh, got to get my thumbnail for this real quick. Hold on. Right, um, you know what, I kind of need, if I can figure out a place where I could put this that would look cool for a, oh yes, that's where we're going to be doing all of our car thumbnails from now on, oh heck yeah, I'll do that after the video anyway. Look at that, that is the perfect backdrop for a thumbnail, heck yeah, that's going to be awesome. Right, okay, let's give this a test, it's night again, are you kidding me? You know, I'm a low-key wait till it's daytime because I want you guys to be able to actually see this car. You can never see it at night, so I'll be right back when it's daytime. So, see you guys in just a moment. Amazing editing commencing right now. Alright, this is going to take forever, so I'm going to come in here so we can see it instead. So, I went for the cream look. I didn't actually get off-road tyres this time, as you guys know. We went for uh, tuna rims, and I went for this like brown leather interior. But I've been driving around in this thing for a little while, and it's actually pretty pretty quick. So, the bumpers, or the lights in the bumpers, actually do work as well, which is really nice. And I'll be honest, I didn't even realise that this truck had lights in that front bumper. So, that's a really nice touch. And again, the, the, the little red lights in the back of the utility bumper, because I got the second utility bumper. There's two variants. There's the one with these lights and one without. And they actually work, so it's really nice. And I, I'm kind of enjoying all these more utility kind of, you know, like suburban sort of stuff. Um... Like these trucks and stuff. I don't know. It's nice. 
I feel like it's a, it's a little bit of change of pace compared to like supercars and stuff like that. Uh, wait, what car was that? Stinger. Grotty Stinger. Anyway, I feel like it's kind of nice. Um, so thank you for watching this customization. This wasn't as long as the Castigator. There was... I don't know if there was necessarily less customization as such. I just kind of knew the vibe I wanted to go for with this. And the Canis Castigator kind of had some hideous customization and stuff. So I thought, you know what? We'll do the Yosemite next. We'll get the two SUVs out the way. And then next time I've got the more of like the tuna cars and the supercar stuff to do. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm going to head back to my auto shop now and actually get the thumbnails for this video. And I've decided I might as well get a different thumbnail for the one of the Castigator as well. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I feel like I kind of got to say that, but obviously don't subscribe if you don't want to, because I'm not going to force you guys to do it. <laughs> but I would appreciate it very much if you do. I've got a lot more commentaries coming out, and a lot we're going to be playing OG Nostalgic Missions, and uh, doing all the new customizations, me and my friend Josh, and we're going to be doing all the business stuff as well. Again, this is starting from scratch, so if you guys are into that sort of thing, you'll be able to see my character like progressively you know rank up and stuff like that on you know all the videos and if you guys haven't checked out my other videos please do and you may be able to catch me on a live stream perhaps one day as well so i look forward to seeing all you guys comments and i'll see you guys in the next one for now guys take care bye bye